this is the incredibly cluttered and horrible office that I've been working out of and I wanted a lighting control that would turn on lights in the kitchen when I walk in there when it's a little too dim so the dividing line is this metal strip that you can barely see let's do this there you go now I have lights in the kitchen how did I do this let's look at installing a maestro occupancy and vacancy sensor system by the way the same install has a vacancy sensor mounted on a double gang box that allows you to turn this guy on and I think the timeout is 15 minutes that I've set it for and it can say anything from the walls playing over now here is our double gang box with both the occupancy sensor and the vacancy sensor installed the vacancy sensor has been left open of course the vacancy sensor has no light sensing to it. its functionality because you're going to be turning it on manually the occupancy sensing device in order to get the proper coverage as you can see has been masked off almost entirely there's just a tiny little sliver of lens showing nonetheless the range of the ambient light or daylight sensing of this device is got a good enough range that it still operates despite the fact that any light sensor inside this lens is only getting light through this little sliver and it works just great and we'll show you that in just a second well it's about 3 30 in the afternoon late in June we have sunlight coming in this window and starting at about 2 p.m. before direct sunlight even came in this window the occupancy sensing device sensed that lighting level and stopped turning on the lighting automatically it is remarkable that you can get this kind of behavior out of this occupancy switch despite the fact that we have almost all of it masked off 